Hello everyone, my name is Anitsu, and I'm back with another Buddy Fight deck profile video. Today, I'm going to be covering the Darkness Dragon world of Black Dragons, and more specifically, Spectral Strike Black Dragons. So, as of Buddy Again Volume 3, Darkness Dragon World got a good wave of support for Dark Burial, which is the new archetype, and Black Dragon Spectral Strike, which came to be as a surprise, but it was a very needed one because the deck really wasn't doing anything before, and now it looks to be a very, very powerful deck. It's very, very powerful because of all of the new support that they got. It just really helps with the deck's overall power and consistency, on top of which it gives it protection with the new item, and it even tries to help limit what the opponent is doing with some of the new spells that they got. So as far as what they really got, the big card of the deck is going to be Gospel of Death, Death Gaze Reaper. So he is the new form of Death Gaze, and he's just really, really powerful. So what makes him really powerful is the fact that he can spawn tokens onto your opponent's field, so you'll always get his Spectral Strike off. On top of which, it's taking cards off of the opponent's deck, so it could be cards that they might have needed. It's just doing a lot just by spawning the tokens, and then on top of which, his Spectral Strike is also attacking the gauge and dealing damage to the opponent. Attacking the gauge right now is pretty huge because we are in a heavy resource management mode where having good gauge management and good card draw is really, really important. And the fact that this is attacking the gauge is really harmful to a lot of different decks, which makes this a very good effect. But on top of which, just he has Soul Guard, he is a Black Dragon Death and Deep attribute, so he just has a lot of high synergies with a lot of different things that Darkness Dragon World has been doing. So I kind of try to capitalize on some of his interesting high synergies in the fact that we could play cards like Doll Strings, which interacts with death cards and can trigger our Spectral Strikes. We could set up a Truth of Darkness for an easier time at getting the effect off of gaining a life and drawing two cards. And then we could run some other stuff like uh, Death Talica Hand just as a, another surprise card because he is also a deep and he does have Soul Guard. So there's just a whole bunch of different high synergy cards that we could run, and then on top of which all of the new cards just help add to the consistency and power. Babel, as an example, is basically our Garcat of the deck, and then his Spectral Strike isn't on his attack, it's just when a opponent's monster is destroyed. He just helps with the new Death Gaze, deal lots of damage through Spectral Strike damage. Murderous Predator is just more card draw, and the fact that it makes it so your cards can't be rested with a huge power boost. So it just makes it very hard for the opponent to interact with Death Gaze once he's out. We have Death Ruin, which is really good because it searches for our it searches for our Death Gaze. And then we have Hunting Ground Without a Life, which is a set spell, which makes it so your opponent can't counter during the battle if a monster is attacking alone which most of the time he's going to be attacking alone. Then we have Dark Mad Knife, which is the protection, and it adds another Spectral Strike on the field that doesn't require it to destroy a monster, but just interacts with when a monster is destroyed. And then we just have the rest of the deck is just a whole bunch of high synergy focused around the new Death Gaze. It's just looking to be a very, very powerful deck, that has a whole bunch of high synergies with a lot of things that Darkness Dragon World has been doing, on top of which you could play off of the old Spectral Strike cards for even more support on top of their new support, so it just has a very high synergy deck. But ultimately, it's going to be a size 1 rush deck where you're just going to swing with your new Death Gaze and try to burn the opponent out through Spectral Strike damage, and then whatever damage is left over, once the opponent's field is cleared, then the other monsters are just going to make it in for what little damage they can do. But as far as other cards that you could run, you'd just be running more cards that also just have high synergy with the deck, and you could even form a new type of deck or a different deck focused around Jinx Landfill Curse Count, 
where he has a, the interaction of having different black dragons in your drop zone, which self-mill isn't necessarily hard to do, but it's definitely an option you could do if you want to deal really high amounts of spectral strike damage. And then you could also run the dark burial cards because they also play off of sets and they also play off of black dragons and both of those are in spectral strike black dragons so there's just a whole bunch of high synergy between what the deck can do and that leads to a whole bunch of different options so even though what i've laid out is a pretty solid deck overall there's still so many other different ways to build the deck that it's actually a little kind of crazy which could lead to a whole bunch of different tech and a whole bunch of different decks as a result. So that's kind of all I have on uh, Black Dragon Spectral Strikes. It's a very highly flexible deck, and even on base, it's a very powerful deck that is doing a lot. So as always, I will have the deck list in the description below. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns about the deck or just want to leave a comment in general. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Buddy Fight content. And with that, I will see you in the next video.